Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 things we can't believe happened 10 years ago. Ladies and gentlemen, the royal baby! For this list, we're looking at the events from pop culture that were incredulous happened in 2013, and not, you know, like yesterday. Some of these things contain spoilers, so if you're a decade behind, beware and try to catch up. If there's a 2013 milestone you can't believe we forgot, share your wonder down in the comments. Number 10. Nick and Jess got together on New Girl. Well, here we are by ourselves. What should we do? Uh, definitely not make out. Definitely not. <laughs> Anyone could see that Nick and Jess on New Girl were crazy about each other. Seeing these two dance around each other was exquisite torture. But then, when the gang starts reminiscing about their first times, a series of events ultimately leads to Nick getting out of his head and sweeping Jess and us off our feet. Literally, in her case. It's hard to believe they got together 10 years ago, since we're still swooning about it today. Well, they are, won't they? Romances are a dime a dozen, but Nick and Jess were priceless. Number 9. Miley Cyrus's VMA's Performance. We still can't believe this happened at all, much less that it was 10 years ago. At the 2013 MTV Video Music Awards, Miley Cyrus began a performance that would live in infamy. She began with a bear-themed take on her single We Can't Stop. She followed it up with a duet with Robin Thicke of his song Blurred Lines in a flesh colored latex suit and a foam finger that we can never unsee. While the performance certainly helped Cyrus shake off her kid friendly image as Hannah Montana, it also set a new bar for cringe and reportedly led to Cyrus being body shamed for years. Number 8. Harlem Shake Speaking of things we can't believe were real, the Harlem Shake became a viral meme during the early part of 2013. These videos typically show someone or some people dancing to the song Harlem Shake by DJ Bauer. Then when the beat drops, a jump cut shows more dancers going absolutely bananas, sometimes in strange costumes. And everywhere you go, even inside classrooms and study halls, people find a way to have fun. The ease of making these videos and the opportunity for unique spins on them made them incredibly popular, with even sports teams and celebrities getting in on the action. Meme trends come and go, but the internet never forgets. So, the Harlem Shake feels both older than 10 years and still recent at once. Do the Harlem Shake. Number 7. Pitch Perfect and Cups, Pitch Perfect's When I'm Gone song. I got my ticket for the long way round. Two bottle of whiskey for the way. While Pitch Perfect may have come out in 2012, one of the most memorable songs in the film was released as a single the next year. Based on a folk pop song dating back to the 1930s, Cups combines its wistful and catchy lyrics with a percussive melody using Cups to make a beat so infectious it hasn't left our heads for a decade. It's got mountains, it's got rivers, it's got sights to give you shivers, but it sure would be prettier with If anything, time has only made Cups more relevant, since there are certainly some people who've left our lives since its release that we miss now that they're gone, or we are. Number 6. NSYNC's Reunion Last one. 
Apart from Miley and Robin's performance, the 2013 VMAs belonged to Justin Timberlake. The man dominated both the awards and the stage. However, it was a blast from the past that made us lose our minds. A reunion with his former boy bandmates from NSYNC. The group's performance of a medley of some of their greatest hits may have been short, but it still left us wanting more. While the group has appeared together a few times since, it's now been almost as long since this reunion as it was from their breakup to this performance. Now, doesn't that make you feel old? Baby, baby, baby. Number 5. Lance Armstrong Confesses to Oprah So let's start with the questions that people around the world have been waiting for you to answer. And for now, I'd just like a yes or no. Okay. Okay. While the exact year that the now infamous professional road racing cyclist and cancer survivor first faced doping allegations isn't known, some reports set them as early as 1999. Despite this, Lance Armstrong continued to deny he was using performance-enhancing drugs up until January 2013, during which time he had won the Tour de France seven times between 1999 and 2005. It was during that first month of 2013 that Armstrong made a limited confession and admitted to lying about not having taken banned substances. In your opinion, was it humanly possible to win the Tour de France without doping seven times in a row? Not in my opinion. While the cheater had already received a lifetime ban from sports that follow the World Anti-Doping Code thanks to a 2012 investigation by the U.S. Anti-Doping Agency, the fallout from the Oprah interview included the stripping of his seven Tour de France titles, dropped sponsorships, and multiple lawsuits. You know, I suppose earlier in my career there was uh, cortisone and then The EPO generation began. Number four, the royal baby. It's early days, but William was already proving to be a hands on dad. This will be a team effort. Whether we were British or not, the whole world was obsessed with the birth of the son of the then Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, William and Catherine. News shows, topical comedy, and Twitter were rife with coverage of the bundle of joy's birth and first few months. I think the baby's coming. And now, Prince George of Wales, the royal baby of the now Prince and Princess of Wales, will be 10 in 2023. Nothing makes you feel the years passing like a child growing up before your eyes. And while not all of us are parents, George certainly helps many of us experience something similar. It's got her looks, thankfully. No, 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 no. I'm not sure about that. Number three, Beyonce's Super Bowl 47 halftime show. was a big year for our queen. While we were tempted to discuss Beyonce's bombshell of a surprise album, this unforgettable live act won out. Beyonce's incredible show still blows our mind with how well executed it is. Although her ferocious performance would be enough to earn a spot in our hearts forever, the fact that her former Destiny's Child co-stars Michelle Williams and Kelly Rowland joined her takes the act to another level. Beyonce's career has had a lot of highs and several halftime shows, but her headlining performance here is still a major one. Thank y'all so much. Thank you for this moment. God bless y'all. Number two, The Red Wedding on Game of Thrones. My king has married and I owe my new queen a wedding gift. Bro! A decade later and we're still not over it. During season three's ninth episode, Rob Stark, his men, his mother, and his wife are all slaughtered at his uncle's wedding. It is a brutal, shocking sequence, and it sent shockwaves through pop culture that we're still experiencing today. Let him go, and I swear that we will forget this. 
I swear it by the all gods and you. We will take no vengeance. You already swore me one oath right here in my castle. The so-called Red Wedding is like a shared moment of trauma that Game of Thrones fans experienced, and often relive, thanks to reaction videos. It's a brilliantly realized bit of writing and acting, but we're still not sure if we want to congratulate George R. R. Martin or yell at him. All of those clips were set up by people who had read the books 13 years ago and knew it was coming. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Office Ended There's a lot of beauty in ordinary things. Isn't that kind of the point? A lot of shows wrapped up in 2013, and while discussing Breaking Bad's was tempting, we're going with The Office instead. The final season of The Office may not have been the show's strongest, but it sure stuck the landing. The finale of the quintessential workplace sitcom of the 21st century so far is spectacular from top to bottom. There are cameos galore, a wedding, laughter, tears, and an appropriate ending for nearly every character. Okay, the last. we'll take it. Hold on one second. The last few months have meant the world to me and all I care Hold about. Hold on a second. Oh. Wait, what did you just say? We want to buy your house. <laughs> it's a bittersweet end to an incredible comedy series. And maybe it's because we can't stop re-watching it, but we still have a tough time believing The Office has been off the air for a decade. Andy says it best about the good old days. I wish there was a way to know you're in the good old days before you've actually left them. Someone should write a song about that. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.